The Houston Texans honoring an MVP of his own kind ahead of retirement. Our very own sports director, Mark Berman, who is about a foot away from me right now. <laughs> he's now part of an elite circle of journalists to have covered the Texans. I hope he approves of this story. He was honored <laughs> with the reception today. Many notable people reminding us of the impact Berman leaves after covering the team and Houston sports for nearly four decades. Texas won the fourth division title in the last five years. Mark Berman spent much of his 37 year career covering the Houston Texans. Now the organization is honoring his legendary career with Fox 26 with his own plaque on the Texans John McClain Media Wall of Fame. I've known Mark for a long time and when you think of the the, the values of the John McClain Media Wall of Fame uh, of unrelenting commitment, integrity and fairness. There's nobody that represents that more than Mark Berman. Berman's dedication spanning 37 years unmatched. In fact, he's only the second person following sports writer John McClain to be inducted to the Media Wall of Fame. Still to this day, Berman goes above and beyond to get exclusive interviews and be the first person to break news in sports. Texans chairman and CEO Cal McNair recalls how his late father Robert McNair would speak about Berman and his unbelievable tactics like finding out what flight an athlete was on and then showing up at the airport gate. He'd be at the airport greeting players when they came off the airplane and I don't we couldn't figure out how he got figured out the flight information but he did but amazing and dad said I bet if I go out and get my paper Mark would be there to hand it to me. And that was, uh, I always thought that was really funny. And But today is the day that I get to hand a paper to Mark Berman. The director of communications for the Texans even admitting to a rather funny airport story. I, with my tail between my legs, had to call Mark back, ask him what gate our own player was flying into that day to get us in the right gate. And so I learned early on in my career to never doubt Mark Berman's sources. Head coach D'Amico Ryans. 2006 when I was drafted here, Mark was the first person to interview me, kind of ran me down over here at the Spring Hill Suites and got an interview. For you, I think for all the reporters and everyone all right, coming after you, I think you've laid an awesome foundation of how it should be done. Done with integrity, done with class, and done the right way. Always ready to do an interview with his phone in hand, his earbuds, and not so much. Good. Never fail, Mark had his bag of cords. He's always tangled, and so before every interview, he'd be sitting there untangling, and I'd come help him sometimes, Cal would come help him sometimes, and we love doing it, but our hope is that by giving you this gift of AirPods, you will never have to do that again. A 37-year career nearing the end of the game. Houston's mayor, current and former Texans players, all wishing Berman well in a video, including QB Case Keenum. I've got my immediate family here. I've got my family from Fox here, and I have all of you guys from the Texans, all of y'all related to the Texans media, everybody I've covered. So I've got all these families that are connected to me, all here in one spot at one time, kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All and his grandson there, just to remind him how long he's been in the business. It's crazy. It's like, I, I, it's just, he's been working here so long, and, you know, it's finally the end. So it's like, it's been so long that he's been working at this one news station, and it's ending. It sure is crazy to think of Houston sports without the now Texans media wall Hall of Famer, Mark Berman. Oh my goodness! I know your grandson might be the future here, though. Oh my goodness! I, mean, I he, saw him on TV. That was fantastic. I know he might be the new star of the show. You that better watch a, out. That is a keepsake for us. Yes, Aww, big time. How do you great. feel? I mean, that's got to be so surreal for you. I, I don't, it was a great job by the Texans. Mm -hmm. they, 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 over the top on how they handle everything. To have all the people that were there, the the McNair family, D'Amico, Ryan's, Nick Casario, Greg Grissom, uh, John McClain was there. Some media, you know, had great some great stuff from some of the former players. Our current players that I worked with, I was, I'm, I'm still kind of numb, but it was really cool, really well, cool. I've never been stressed to do a package here, and I was so <laughs> stressed over that because your career is so legendary here, and I've only known you for a short time that I was like, how can I do this justice in just a few minutes? Well, you, know? you did. So I'm so glad that that um, was presented to you today, and you totally deserve it. And, and you had my grandson at the end. Yeah. Yes, that's what yeah. I was going to say. Save the best for yes. last. Yes. All right, guys. Bow at the end. All right, Time Mark. for sports, right? Yeah. Okay. Astros.